Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Allie's Amazing Scents. If you're new here, my name is Allison, your independent Scentsy consultant, and I am back <laughs> with my flash sale haul. I was not expecting this. I didn't even think it had shipped yet. Um, I I just just sat down to film a video of another haul that I had received. Just finished it up, put my wax away, put my tripod away, all that, and then this showed up at my door and I was like, oh my gosh, totally unexpected. So excited, had to share it with you guys. So here we go. Um, the reason my party was so big, my party closed out in last video is because um, I definitely did enough to close out a $500 party after the flash sale. Flash sale did some damage. I didn't spend 500, I mean, that. yeah. That was a party that was accumulated over several months and several customers, but um, having this bumped it up to where I was like, okay, I'm ready to close it out. So flash sale was amazing. This was the second biggest um, sale day in Sensi history. I think last March was number one. Um, so <laughs> uh, this says I have 51 items. Okay. And I probably don't even remember what everything I got. So it's really exciting. And here my, my uh, dog's getting rowdy again with my cat. Maple, calm down. Calm down, Maple. Um, so, yeah, let's dive in. I see, see some warmers, some old boxes. Okay, so my um, sister-in-law, she took advantage of, they had some um, bundle deals in this flash sale. Mm. Maple, go lay down. The first bundle that they had, or not the first, but one of them was, you can get full, two full-size warmers for $35, which is like a steal. And it can be any full-size warmers um, from very, very, very old, you know, up to pretty current. And it's been really fun seeing pictures online of what people have been getting. I can tell by these boxes that these are older or, or warmers. We're going to look at them. Um, but I can tell by the packaging that they are older design. This one is called Con Contenna. And you can tell the old logo, the coloring. Uh, is there a year on here? I know since he's been around since 2004. Um, well, copyright 2010. So this is from around that that time at least. Um, I have no idea what this is. This is exciting. I probably won't fully open these, like plug them in and all that, but um, we'll open them and then I'll carefully put them back together. I'm sure she wouldn't mind. It is a bit of a gamble with these, you know, you don't know exactly what you're going to end up with, but uh, 20 watt, this is a 20 watt, whatever it is. Oh, that's cute. Look, that is cute. Okay, so let's see if I can get it up close here and you can see, well, if I can leave the packaging on, but you can see the crackle on there. And then we have the holes up top here and the old Sensi logo in cursive. And it is um, petite. Is there dimensions on here? This is pretty petite. You can see it compared to my hand. Standard warmer is six inches tall. This is not six inches tall. But I think this is really cute and this is really timeless. Um, you know, if this was made 13 years ago, uh, this is still a design that is you know not out of style so I think she's gonna like that um, that's exciting let's see if it says it doesn't say how tall it is but yes it is a 20 watt back when 20 watts were only clear bulbs <laughs> now she can put colored bulbs in here maple you need to calm down go lay down go lay down go Okay, the next one is a taller box, I think. Oh, it's called Midsize Warmer. Does this one say what it is? Deluxe Sensi Warmer. This is a midsize Sensi Warmer um, and a 20 watt bulb. And this is a terrace? <laughs> I don't know. A terrace, I'm probably not saying that right. Um, this also lists a copyright of 2010, which, um, you know, maybe this is it's a, at least um, around that time. Okay. 
This is actually the same kind of color dish. That would be cool if they kind of matched colors. Oh, they do, and they match styles. Oh my gosh, how fun. That is totally random, too. So look at this. Um, it doesn't have crackle. It's got like a kind of a smooth stone color. And then it has the twine, which <laughs> twine is super trending right now. Um, our February or March warmer of the month and our, no, our February warmer of the month. And then we have a shade in the new catalog that also have the twine on them. It's a little bit different design, but, um, twine is very trending right now. So that is funny. And I just think this is so funny because it's totally random. They didn't like pair these together. Like, oh, this would go good with this, but they're both, I'm going to have to open this other one back up. They're both, um, mid-size warmers, petite. They're both 20 watt. They're both similar colors. And, um, so she could put them together. So we have this one and then this one. How funny. That's cool. That is cool. She's going to be happy with those. And, you know, I did warn her, you know, um, it's the luck of the draw. And um, this this didn't disappoint. Ah, that is so exciting. That's a good deal, too. 30 bucks for, for two warmers. They seem like they fit back in the box a little bit better than some of the newer packaging too. Oh no, did I just, <laughs> did I speak too soon when I said that? Cause yeah, no, no it doesn't want to go in there. I saw where someone got for one of their warmers, the cord warmer, which is my favorite warmer. I have one in my bedroom, but that was such a good deal. That is a three dish element warmer. So basically three warmers in one. And they got that in their bundle for two for 35. I was like, wow, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> so much stuff here. Okay. Yay. Country Plum. I was so excited to see this in room spray. Um, this is one of uh, maybe the, even the first scent I ever had. Um, when I got a Scentsy Warmer, it came, this was the scent of the month was Country Plum. So it was a spring scent of the month, like probably like seven years ago or so. And it's a very pretty plum scent. I love it. I'm trying to, there we go. There we go. Mm, that is so nice. That sold out pretty quick. The whole flash sale, I mean, it didn't even last 24 hours. My sister-in-law, she she told me she wanted those the night before. And then she called me like 5 o'clock um, mountain time and was like, okay, I want to do one of the um, wax bundles. And I was like, sorry. She wanted to do one of the 10 for 35. I was like, the flash sale is not even going on anymore. I'm sorry. Anyway, this, um, I love that scent. So it, it also has um, good scent memories of my first scentsy warmer that I, I had and, and good times. I picked up one more, um, sandalwood tangerine body spray. Um, this is good because a body spray is going away and B, I love this scent. It's a unisex scent. It's, oh, it's so good. Tangerine, white cedar and sandalwood. Um, I currently have one of these in my purse and then I have a backup and now I have a backup for my backup. So, <laughs> but that was a father's day, the new father's day collection this last year and amazing. Um, I got two Lucky Starfruit pods. Um, this is a fun scent. This was in our international collection a few years ago. Um, I have had it in pods since then. It's a good performer in pods. Just a fun, fruity, sweet, summery scent. Very summery. Um, unfortunately, I do tend to get a Madonna song stuck in my head whenever I um, am around this. But yeah, I picked up two of those because I know it's a great performer. And they were like two bucks a piece or something. They're normally ten. Okay, we're gonna save those because those go with something else. Um, let's do wax, and then we'll do um, warmer. I have a really, really special warmer in here, and and some other stuff. Oh my goodness! If I can get this wax box out. Holy cow! This is packed in there tight. 
Oh my gosh. I, I can't wait to show you this other thing in here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, big old heavy wax box. I got two of the bundles. The, um, where'd my scissors go? The two wax bar or 10 wax bars for 35. I got two of those bundles. I don't know where my scissors went, so I'm just going to rip this open. And I think I might have got one of the wrong bundles. They announced the bundles like a day or two before, maybe like a day before. And I might have grabbed one of the wrong ones in my madness, but I don't know. Oh, there's other stuff in here too that's not wax. Summer Holiday Car Bar. Um, Summer Holiday is not coming back in the Spring Summer Catalog. I kind of wondered because... I think Lisa have been in clearance before, but their car bar, everyone always talks about the car bars in summer holiday. Um, and so that's sad. So I'm glad I got one of those. Um, scent circles. Scent circles were, some of them were like less than a dollar. And so those, I tended to stock up on some of those. Oh, I guess I got two summer holidays. So that's good. That lasts a really long time in the car too. Um, oh, they really packed this box. Okay, so scent circles. So I got five, five of, I absolutely love this scent, and I love it in scent circles, Dumbo Circus Parade. These were on sale. These might have been too dull. No, I don't know. I think they were 98 cents. I don't know. But, um, I love these, and I think it's so cute. I actually have one of these that's, doesn't have any scent anymore but I had it hanging up in my office because it was so cute um but I don't need to do that now because I have five more so um think tropical fruity um clementine peaches vanilla just this scent like puts me in a happy mood when I smell it so I am thrilled to have those um, a pineapple pucker scent circle. This is not coming back. When the flash sale happened, it was like right before we found out what was um, coming in the new catalog and what wasn't. Pineapple pucker is not coming back. It's just a standard pineapple scent, so um, I can see that. But I, I got three of them because I think those were 98 cents. And these are good. Even though it's not a current scent, they're still good to give out to customers or you know, as little gifts and stuff. And then they had a Fiji flower in there. This was also, I think, like a 98 center. And um, love this scent. It used to be in my club. It's a really beautiful, like, apple floral spring scent. And it is coming back in laundry. Um, this was a summer collection two summers ago. Not this last one we had, but the one before. No, three summers ago. Yeah, three summer collections ago. And um, beautiful, beautiful scent. So... You can um, pick this up in laundry if you didn't get to try it before. Okay, now let's talk about the bars. Some of these are from the collections, but some of them are like standalone. So this is a standalone. This is Frozen 2 um, Dance of Autumn. I think I've had one of these bars before. I'll know when I smell it. No, I don't think I have. Maybe I was thinking of a different Frozen bar. That's nice. It's like an apple, I'm getting an apple type scent. I don't know the scent notes, but um, that's nice. This did not come back out when the Frozen 2 collection was released with a name like this. I kind of get why, but it wasn't the right season for it, but um, happy to have that. <laughs> Actually, um, this came in one of the bundles. I'm not sure which bundle, but I have this going right now in my bathroom and in Maddie's room. This is in my club, and this is such a great scent. Love and Happiness. Mm. fancy conditioner <laughs> that's the fancy conditioner scent so good um one bundle as soon as i saw this bar i was like i'm buying the whole bundle just for this bar be my honey ah i love this scent so so much and um i have one bar left that i was i've been hoarding mm. yes it is as good as i remember this is honey sweet delicious honey I remember my husband liked this one too when it was um, in the catalog, which was a couple years ago, a few years ago. Oh my goodness, that is good. At the time, I thought it was open concept worthy, 
now that my addiction has grown, I don't know that I would think that, but um, I'm glad to gra uh, have grabbed a bar, and I think that would be a good one to come back and like bring back my bar someday. Um, pink Cotton. This is leaving the catalog. This was not in a bundle. This was just like a standalone item. And so when I saw that in there, that was kind of a red flag to me that um, that bar might be leaving us and I should probably pick one up because I think I maybe have one on hand. Mm, this is nice. This is a good, strong, open concept performer of cotton, clean laundry cotton with like a sweet pink berry. Really good scent. That is staying in laundry um, next year. Born to Lead. This is the one I think that I was thinking of that I've smelled before. Because that color looks familiar. Is this the one that just came back out? No, I don't think it was. Mm. Yeah, this is good. This is more of a fall scent. Uh, deep berry type notes. What is that? Is that like a pomegranate I'm smelling? I think I'm getting like a pomegranate. But um, that's nice. That's, that's a fall scent. Um... Find your happy collection while barefoot and free. Uh, I did not like this when it came out. It smells like Irish Spring, but my husband likes it because he likes Irish Spring. Yeah, this is just very green. I mean, I don't hate it, but uh, on the bottom, yeah, Irish Spring. That's that's way too green for me. So <laughs> I'm like, I don't hate it. And I'm like, ah, but um, that'd be a good one to go in the garage or the laundry room or something like that. Um, this one, I don't think I'm going to like, I've never smelled it, but I think it's supposed to smell like, um, sweet tea or iced tea, which I do not like either of those. Um, so this might, let me just smell. Yeah, I don't like that. This will be going to my friend who does like, um, like she used, she likes Southern sweet tea. At least I am getting more of like a lemon scent here, but, um, and that's not too bad. That might be tolerable. So maybe I'll warm a cube or two just to see. I probably will do that. And then if I don't like it, I'll give it to her. Flower Child. Um, this is... This is currently available. Bring back my barn. I don't remember ordering this. <laughs> so I don't know. I have to look at my packaging slip. Um, oh, no, 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 no. I'm thinking of Flirtatious. I'm sorry. Now that I smell this. Yes, this was in Bring Back My Bar... Uh, June of this last June, 2022, it's very, very pretty, but very, very light. So, um, small spaces, great on scent appeal, but I really can't smell it very much. This one, I'm very curious to try midnight in Caraco, correct? Midnight in Caraco, I think is how you say it. Um, picturing this as kind of an exotic incense type scent. Ooh, <laughs> that's good. Mmm, yeah. So I do get, um, I do almost get a little bit of like a, an earthy note, but I get a lot of sweetness. So it's like a sweet berry with maybe a little bit of fig or something. This reminds me a little bit of Ghostly Greetings, but like lighter and sweeter. Maybe it's a color. Um, that is really nice. Ah, I'm excited to try that. This is not a favorite of mine. Um, make a splash. I just, I don't like the, the melon and the aquatic note mixture in here. Yeah, it's okay. I don't necessarily dislike it, but I don't know if I'm going to use that one. Um, one of the bundles I basically got because it had Sandswept in it. And Sandswept's not coming back, and I didn't put it in my club. But I really, really love this scent. This was replaced by Shoreline Drive in the in the catalog, which probably is stronger. But oh, I love this because of the pink lemon note in it. So it's like fresh aquatic uh, rock. There's like a rock note in it. But then there's a pink melon. I mean, pink lemon note in here. So this was, it's a fresh scent, but it was in the citrus category when it was in the catalog for two seasons. And I really, really love this one. So at least I have one more bar. Um, this was a standalone item, but it was like $1.80 or something. And this is Peppermint Dreams. Um, I know Patricia Gates loves this one. Mm, this is a strong, this is a good one. Actually, um, 
it says chocolate. It's like a Andes mint. And um, Maddie and my husband both really like this. And I didn't think they would, so I warmed it on a day when like no one was here. And they came home and they both commented that they liked it. So there you go. Jade and Jasmine, I think I have one bar left of this. This was a scent of the month of January 2021. 20, mm, and it's a like a masculine cologne with um, like a lemon note. Um, there's like some green notes. It's really nice. But it is manly. But um, yeah. I, I like that, and that is a great performer. <sighs> One of my all-time favorites, which this is funny that this was in clearance because this is actually coming back in, in Bring Back My Bar next round. This is Ghostly Greetings. I love, love, love this scent. This is one of my all-time favorites. <sighs> it's such a deep, broody, just oh, gives me all the fall feelings. Like the Like you're like stirring a witch's cauldron and like reading a book in a dark cozy little nook and like I don't know it's just so good and I warm this year round um more so like rainy days in the summer but I love this so this is um dark plum divana lee divana flower I think it has tobacco maybe patchouli I don't know but it's really really good and look at the ghost and I was kind of surprised that this um did come back because I I think it was kind of a love it or hate it, but enough people loved it to vote it back. And thank you for everyone that did because you just have to try this. This is an amazing scent. And it is strong. It's long lasting. It's everything. I haven't smelled this before. This was also in the Find Your Happy collection. This is a First Kiss Fireworks. Um, I think this was maybe supposed to be like a floral. Maybe. This is super light. Maybe, maybe I still have the ghostly greetings in my nose. This is really light. I don't know. I get maybe a little bit of citrus. Maybe a sweetness of like a floral sweet. Really hard to tell. Slight sweetness. It smells a little floral, but um, I don't know. <laughs> Stargazing. This is a good one. This was a scent of the month in, um, I think it was July, maybe August. No, I think it was July of 2021. Sometimes described as Jamie Time's older, more sophisticated sibling. Um, a lot of people, this is another one that's kind of divisive if people love it or hate it. It's really, really good. Um, it is a little more sultry, I guess, a little more mature than jammy time. I think I do still like jammy time better because it has that fresh laundry note to it more, but this has more of a creaminess. Maybe it's, I don't know, is there like marshmallow or this has more of a creaminess and this is really nice. I, I really like that one. Um, I think it was in my club for a minute, but it's not anymore. Sweet but fierce. This was from the Glamour's You collection. Um, this actually, I liked it a lot more after it had sat for a while. Ooh, look, old packaging. Look at that. Don't see that very often anymore. Um, yeah, it's a floral. Um, might have like violet in it, but it's a good one. It's, it's not like out of this world, but it's good. Sun Silk Petals. This is one of my favorite florals. Um, a lot of people did not like it. And so it... Did not return this season. It was in the catalog for two seasons, um, but I absolutely love it. It's a daffodil scent. Oh, and it is a powerhouse. This is just, even the color, everything about it is so springtime to me. I love it. Powerhouse. Mm, but daffodil, I don't remember what else, but a lot of people don't really like it. So good thing that one is safe and sound in my club. Pacific Daydream. I don't think I've ever smelled this. I like, I don't know where to put this here. <laughs> Pacific Daydream. Hmm, that's nice. Wait, is it though? Okay. I am getting a kind of soapy, masculine soapy smell on the bottom here that I'm not 100% about. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the bottom of that, um, well, barefoot and free, but like a softer and more aquatic one. Hmm. It's nice on the top, but yeah, 
a lot of that soapy note on the bottom. I'm going to try that out in my bathroom. See how that goes. Um, iridescent Pearl. This is a very light scent. Pretty, but extremely light. Yeah, still light. Um, so I don't even know. I don't think you should need to let bars sit, period. But these are probably older anyway, so I don't think letting it sit will do much good. Um, but if you're looking for a nice fresh but light scent that's a good one i don't dislike it it's pretty i just wish it, wish it was stronger all you need is love i have not smelled this i have no idea what to expect Ooh, i smell like a caramel wait what is that is that a i can't put my note like a pear what is that so familiar. Pear? I'm going to have to think about that. It's like, I know that smell. <laughs> Sweet. Sugary. I'm going to come back to that one and smell it again. It's good, but now it's just bothering me. Like, what is that? Accidentally in Love. This was uh, like a love collection or something, and I've never smelled this one either. Mmm, that's good. Very citrus forward. I thought it would have been more fruity, but maybe a grapefruit? I don't know. Very heavy on the citrus. Um, Sounds really, or smells, smells really good. I think it would be a good performer, a nice clean scent. Uh, next one we have is... Darlene Dahlia. Um, I've always wanted to try this one. So I think it's going to be a pretty floral. Ooh, that's nice. That almost smells a little bit like hibiscus. So like a sweet floral. That is nice though. Um, what else here? We have Be Fabulous. This is not returning and that doesn't really surprise me, but this was a really nice... Um, grapefruit scent that we had as a scent of the month and then it, it came back for a couple catalogs and now it's retired and then the last bar we have is my only sunshine this is a nice pretty floral um, I didn't club it because it's not super strong but very very pretty and there's actually a lot of notes in here um there's like floral and then there's I want to say there's amber I don't know. It's really nice though. Um, so I am happy to have another bar of that. Now, what is this? I swear I've smelled this before. It's very sweet. If you guys know what's in here, comment down below. Okay, I have two buddies in a warmer. So yeah, and if, if this is a clue as to the buddies, <laughs> What? I have four of these? Oh my goodness. I wasn't sure if the buddies came with them because one showed a picture with the scent packs and one didn't. Um, in the jungle. The Lion King scent. Hmm. What, what could that be that goes with that? Well, we have a buddy clip here. We'll start with that. Um, I got some, I got the, actually, I, I got the, all the Lion King buddies. Really, really wanted these when they came out. And so when they came into clearance, I just had to get them for the kids and for me. Mm. Timon, here we have Timon. And he is a very, very cute little guy. His ears are kind of flattened from the box there. I think these are going to be um, gifts to the kids. And so um, I am trying to get this all done so we can put it away before they get home. But yeah, he's super cute. I had to get the whole collection. This is not Lion King, but this um, made its way to the bottom of the box here. This is Washer Whiffs and Cucumber and Cactus Water. This was in our last summer collection. Really nice, fresh, clean, green scent. And this is coming back as uh, we're having a spring brick collection. Spoiler alert. In April or May. And this scent will be in the brick. Okay. Um, so now we have... Um, a couple of buddies here. You know what? Hold on one second. 
Sorry guys, I'm back. Now I'm gonna have to try and splice these together because I paused the video because daycare was getting a hold of me, but I ended up stopping the video and yeah. So what I was just talking about was, um, it's about to go into the buddies that I got for um, Lion King. So um, I already opened this one, but this is the um, buddy clip of Timon. And then I got Simba and Puma. And I really have been wanting Puma for a while, but I was like, I got to get the whole set. So um, we have Simba here. And he was the first Lion King buddy to be released. Um, we've had the Lion King collection in different forms come out a couple of times, at least twice that I know of. And he was in the original collection with the original scent. So here we have Simba. Isn't he cute? Oh my goodness. Yes. So he's got his little tail, his little um, patch. Apparently they did throw in a scent pack for him. I wasn't sure if they would, but they did in the second um, Lion King scent, which is in the jungle. I'm not Circle of Life, which I'm happy about. And then we have Pumba here. I love Pumba. He's so, ugh, I love him. Look at him. This is the one I'm most excited about. I just love Pumba. Um, I used to love Lion King. I swear, I still know like all the words by heart. <laughs> Look at he's like dancing on there. Um, I was just thinking about earlier today how I used to have this like little Pumba Timon Lion King alarm clock when I was a kid. And I was like, I don't know. I randomly thought about it today and I was like, I wonder what happened to that. That'd be kind of fun if I still had kept it, but I didn't, of course. Um, but yeah, a lot of um, just nostalgia for me with the Lion King. Oh my gosh. Look at him. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at his little ears and his, um, what do you call them, tufts? And he's got his little belly. He's soft too. Okay, this is my favorite. I love him. He's so cute. Um, but I will share with my children, probably. <laughs> this is going to be the one that's going to be the hardest to share. Anyway, um, so I got the two full-size buddies, the mini um, buddy clip, and then I ended up with four scent packs because the, they apparently came with the scent packs, but you could also get them separately in the sale. So that's okay because I do really like that scent. It's a nice fresh green scent. Okay, the last item is for my daughter Maya, and I'm so excited. I am thrilled, you guys. Here we go. Dumbo warmer. Yes. This is a big box. Um... She loves Dumbo. She's been asking for a new warmer. And I really wanted to get this when it came out, but it was $85. It was in the clearance for $25 or maybe $26, but a killer deal. And so I had to go ahead and, and get it for her. I mean, it wasn't even a question. 20 watt. Hmm. So we're going to unbox this right now. Kind of got to hurry because... Gotta make sure it's put away before she gets home. One more second here. Okay. Sorry. Um, so it says, don't just fly soar. There he is soaring. I love the attention to details on these licensed um, warmers. So cool. <laughs> okay. So here's the lid. Um, it does have a lid, but it has plenty of holes and it's um, glass here and um, plenty of holes to let the air in and then a little flag that you can put on top here. You can put right on top of the lid. So um, I guess there's some assembly required, some additional <laughs> assembly required. Oh, this is a good size warmer. Oh my goodness. So this is a lampshade style, which is what we're going to be going to for like a lot of our dishes now. So it just sits on a like a, a base with the bulb. And then this is the actual warmer. 
So we have Dumbo coming out of the circus tent. We have all of these lights that will light up. And then on the back it says Dumbo. And um, <laughs> I'm such a dork. I was looking for the dish. It's right there. <laughs> the dish is put in there. And Timothy Q. Mouse is in there. Love Timothy Q. Mouse. So, um, yes, that's so cute. My kids love Dumbo. Maya loves the character Dumbo. And then um, Malia, my three-year-old, she loves Timothy Q. Mouse. So we're going to go ahead and um, light this up really quick here. Hey, go, go. My dog is being a little turd to my cat. Um, I just, I felt like I won the lottery when I saw, when I not only saw this in here, but that it was still in my cart when I went to check out. I was like, just beyond thrilled. The pictures of it, it has more, like a pink glow to it. And maybe that's from the, the lid being that pink color. We'll see here. Um, Maple, go lay down. Go on. Go. Go lay down. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> okay, let's see what the greatest show on earth looks like. We have a little cord cut out in the back of this. This might be kind of hard to show just because how I have to set it on my hand. I'm not going to put the flag on top, but there is a flag. I can't get it much closer either because where my um, power strip is. <sighs> I love this. It does have a pink glow not showing up as much on camera right now but it does have more of a pink glow in real life um so this is a pretty good solid warmer here um this is so cute and the details on it um my kids are gonna love this especially Maya so there's Timothy again yeah that is a Dumbo warmer um Thank you guys for sticking around. Uh, let me know what you got in your flash sale. There's so many things in there that like, I didn't even see on the website when I was in there. So um, let me know some of the steals that you were able to get and um, if you've received yours yet. And thank you for tuning in. And we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.